the most expensive fish in Hawaii. Let me show you how to do it. Let's go. What's up guys, Hawaii Zone, we're getting our music, our kumu that we're gonna set up, but before we do, I wanna show you the ginger hack. So you take your ginger, and instead of using a peeler, you take a spoon. And for the guys that notice, okay, good job, good job, old news, old news. But for the guys that don't notice, this is how you peel your ginger, but it'll come right off. Okay, so you take all your ginger, put in your peelings, and you get yourself some clean ginger. Super easy. Easy peasy, ba. Old news, cuz. Hashtag old news. You can come in if you like. Oh, this is a lot of mushrooms. 
Trump so good. Guys, guys, Hawaii's only. I'm gonna show you guys a fishing hack, fishing secret. For the guys that fish on the boat, the damashi, and you catch the moana, or vekiula, or moana kalis, you see the whiskers of the fish? You chop this guy off. On the boat, you pull a hook through this guy, and you send her down. Here's your hack, bruh. Go get your fishies, guys. Go get your fish. Take a kumu. Oh, how's that? Beautiful little bugger. I'm gonna insert a couple slices just to get this ginger. I'm gonna get the ginger and the salt pepper inside this guy. Ginger in the belly. Ginger in all the slits. Where are you at right now? 55 seconds. Okay, so our kumu's all set, salt, ginger, mushrooms. We're gonna take a tea leaf. So this is one little trick for people that don't have steamers or if you don't know how to steam your fish with a poaching pan. Um, I'm just gonna do it a regular pan and a cover, that's it. And the trick to it is we just use tea leaf. Everyone got tea leaf, right? So we're just gonna put the fish in a tea, le tea leaf like this and then we're gonna take this like handle in a pot like this. Ah, frick, this fish is too big. This fish is too big. Ah. Okay, well, if it's a little bit too big, it's gonna just fold it up or you can cut it in half. I'm just gonna tuck her in. Just tuck her in. Kind of smash her down. What's gonna happen is, as the fish cooks, it will shrink, okay? Um, another thing you can, is you can wrap this fish up like a lao lao. You know how you wrap up the lao laos and you tie it off with the two lao laos, uh, the two tea leaves? You can do that too. But it's just, you know, and then you can put, pick it up like a pouch. It doesn't gotta be tight. Okay, so we're gonna use this uh, to steam our fish. Just a little bit of water. We're gonna bring this guy up to a boil. And then we're gonna drop the heat down from high to a simmer. That's the secret. You want this guy on a low and slow, gentle steam. Okay? We'll see you back in about 15 minutes. About seven to eight minutes in, about halfway through your steaming process, low and slow, you're gonna take the little bits of ends of the um, Chinese parsley, and you're gonna help, uh, just the, the stems of the Chinese parsley that we minced up, and you're gonna take half of your fresh green onion, and you're gonna steam it with the fish for the remainder of the time, okay? We're gonna close this guy up, let this go for another seven to eight minutes, and then, we're gonna fit Kumu's paw. Get this guy. How tragic would that be uh, if he just dropped the whole thing? <laughs> See that? You're freaking. Then we take the fresh Chinese parsley and drop it all over. Grass all over the place. So no need fancy steamer, bro. Just a tea leaf for that. Finish with fresh green onion and fresh Chinese parsley. We got the kumu all pao, steamed with the veggies, the green onions. You're gonna take a super high quality shoyu or oboy ni oi, okay? I got some kids in the house, so they don't want the spice, so we're just gonna go with a really good quality shoyu. The shoyu you gotta go first, okay? Cause you're gonna hit the fish, and you don't need to drown the guy, but you gotta hit the shoyu first. Because if you hit the oil first, the oil is just gonna float the shoyu all over the place. Okay, so we got shoyu down. We're gonna put our green onions. And the rest of our 
fresh Chinese parsley. So we're gonna take half the Chinese parsley actually, okay? And we'll put it around. And I'm gonna show you what we do with the other half of the fresh one, leave this on the side. So we got some Chinese parsley and then all the green. Does it have to be peanut oil? Yes, it has to be peanut oil. Ah, you Oh, ooh, ooh. Perfect. And stop. Guys. So I take the head piece and the back piece because nobody's around. And it has a le the least amount of bones. Take some of these mushrooms. Take some of these greens. Some fish. Oh my gosh. No wonder everyone likes kumu so much. I think it's just like melts in your mouth looking cat. Terrible guys. Stop catching this fish. No good. Just steam the mushrooms and the veggies. That's not for you. Mmm. 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 I'll see you guys. Well, I'll see you guys next week. Aloha.